Good morning. Good morning. Do 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 do. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. Hmm. Here we are choosing to use microdosing tools in five minutes on the fly to dose our brains with positive neurotransmitters. And by repeatedly dosing our brains with positive neurotransmitters, <laughs> we create a new baseline in our brain. And those elevated levels of dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins leave us with a sensation of joy and calm and vibrancy, clarity. So off, off and away, we got to dose our brains today. <laughs> and one of the tools that I love most is the whoopsie daisy tool. I use it all the time and find myself laughing hysterically at things that, um, you know, might have in the past when I wasn't quite as uh, relaxed and easygoing as I am now, I might have gone, mm, annoying, mm, didn't like that. You know, just, <laughs> that didn't serve me well, but um, you know, I would have that as sort of a knee jerk reaction. And now I find it's like my brain goes ping, 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 right into humor. It somehow sees it through the lens and isn't somehow. My brain is dosed with a lot more positive neurotransmitters which allows for that lighter, easier connection and association. But the whoopsie daisy tool is part of what helped me get there, helped me see the world through a new filter and start building up that dose chemistry in my brain. And so today I'm gonna to tell you two whoopsie daisy stories on the theme of, would this theme be? Hmm. Whoopsie daisy stories that can occur while you're using the microdosing tools. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Your stuff pops up, life happens. So I was doing the slow mo tool and I was focusing it on the slow mo tool while sipping tea. And I was doing it on the microdosing feed with two of my microdosing buddies, Cheryl Ann and Veronica. Beautiful, beautiful morning, quiet, candles lit, sipping my tea with this beautiful slow-mo flow. Oh, just holding a silence, a stillness together. I can actually hear the foam in the matcha latte I'd made that morning. I could hear the foam bubbles popping. It was very serene, really beautiful. Then we finish and um, Cheryl Ann had been on mute and she came off of mute and it was ding dong dong bam pshaw! <laughs> from this very serene silence <laughs> to <laughs> quite quite at volume. <laughs> just started laughing and laughing and laughing because all I could see in my head was she had come off mute and she was at a harbor in Jamaica and they were welcoming in the cruise ship while a steel band played in the background. I mean, that is where I went. And because it, it was so, you know, dynamic and it was clear and ringing out sounds of water and metal drums and, um, so we all just start laughing and laughing. I explain what I've heard. And Cheryl Ann's especially laughing because she says, y'all, well, she didn't, she, she's from Maine. She does not say y'all. <laughs> um, maybe you guys? I am not sure. Um, you know, whatever you fill in for y'all <laughs> out in the rest of the world. <laughs> um, so y'all, I was... I was thinking that this was a quiet moment. This is Cheryl Ann I'm speaking for. I was thinking this was a quiet moment. My husband had just turned off the juicer. And so this loud engine of the juicer had just been shut down. And so Cheryl Ann was thinking 
that, you know, her husband had stopped making the loud noise with the juicer and it's now quiet but relative to her ear <laughs> by comparison. But she didn't realize that to us who had been in silence, the bang, bang, <laughs> he was banging out the juice on a metal bowl and the water running. <laughs> it was really unusual sounding. <laughs> and she was like, whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Oh, it was very fun. And that slow-mo flow turned into a five-minute laughter flow. Woo-wee! That was a good time. And just laughing with that slow-mo flow. Oh, I mean, laughing with that whoopsie-daisy story. Ah, just telling you, it activated my parasympathetic system, yawning, rest and digest chill. And then, so a second whoopsie daisy story on that same theme of using the microdosing tools with a buddy. And I was on the phone with my buddy and uh, we're about to do a deeper truth, you know, in this deeper space. Um, but I was just finishing a little snacky snack. My son had some fruit roll-ups and I put it in my mouth and I haven't had one in a long time. And I was like, mmm, nom, 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 And she's like, what is going on? I said, oh, I was having a strawberry fruit leather. And she said, huh. I said, what? She said, well, that just evokes for me bachelorette parties and you know, strawberry edible underwear. <laughs> and she sounded very chagrined and like, do I say this? We're getting ready to do a deeper truth tool. <laughs> and I started laughing. And she's like, you know, and the word fruit leather, leather. And <laughs> then I say, yeah, it sort of sounds like, you know, there's an underground leather bar just for strawberries. <laughs> And we are off to the races. It becomes a five minute laughter flow. And it's like, whoopsie daisy, we were gonna do a deeper truth tool. Oh well. <laughs> it was very, very funny. Oh, so those are sort of recent day to day examples of where um, just things that could be either startling or distracting can be prompts for you shifting your lens and finding the humor in it. And as I've mentioned before, when you start retelling that story to other people, or you hear my story and you pass it on and you tell it to other people, that helps us enlarge our hippocampus, the memory center for memory retrieval and retention is the story you have to retain. And you also have to go back and retrieve it each time you repeat and tell it. So find a couple of stories. They can absolutely be mine. Make a little cheat sheet, crib sheet for yourself. And whenever you want to tell a whoopsie daisy story, you've got a little prompt to help you get started. Hope this is helpful. I look forward to a day of being beautifully surprised and delighted by the universe and wish it for you. I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow.